Hi, Collie Cod Kids. Hi, Cunningham Kids. Ooh. Hi, Cunningham Kids. Oh, my cards are all disorganized. Hey, Glover Kids. And hi, Tucker Kids. Today's project is the Golden Snitch from Harry Potter. So here's the example. Front and back. All right, so you will need a piece of paper, just a plain white piece of paper like that. If you don't have plain white, notebook paper is fine. You also need a sheet of tin foil, a pair of scissors. A pencil, two toothpicks, a paintbrush, some yellow or gold paint, whichever you have, and something to use as a palette. I'm just going to use a paper plate here. Okay. So I'm going to move some things over. I'm going to start with your white piece of paper. So um, a regular piece of white paper is usually eight and a half by 11 inches. And what I want you to do is cut off about two inches of the paper. So this was about two inches and I just tore it with my hand. But you can use the scissors. Just cut off about two inches of it. Da -da 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 -da. So it'll look like a long strip that you've removed. And we just want this part. Forget about the strip that you cut off. So once you have this paper, you're going to roll it up into a ball. Or scrunch it up into a ball. And we want it to be about the size of a golf ball. Because that's the size of the golden snitch um, when we see it in the Harry Potter movies. Okay, so about that big. Then you take your tin foil. And we don't need very much tin foil for this. I'll show you how much I'm gonna use. Okay, no no more than about this much. This is probably like 10 inches by 5 inches. This is plenty. You don't need like a giant sheet of it. So you're going to roll the tin foil onto the ball or wrap it around the ball. And you can try to squish it and form it as much into a ball shape as you can. It won't be perfect. It won't be a perfect um, sphere shape. So there it is. It's golf ball size, right? Okay, so I'm going to put that aside for a moment. And let's see. I need some more white paper. I'll be right back. Okay, so the white piece of paper that you had set aside before, that white strip, you're going to use that to draw the snitch's wings. So on the example here, the wings are made out of paper, so it's just the plain white paper. So I'm going to use your pencil to draw the shape of the wing. So I'm going to draw the shape of the wing here. So you can watch me and the best way I can describe it is like the shape of a leaf. And I'll turn it over so you can see. So it should look pretty much like that. 
And you'll need two of them, of course. So cut them out. Now you're going to take your toothpicks and we're going to poke the toothpick through the bottom of the wing right here. So watch me first and be careful with your fingers. Make sure you don't poke your finger. So I poked it through right there at the bottom. And then I'm going to poke it through again like this. So it looks like that. And your toothpick should stick out more at the bottom than up here. You should see more toothpick at this end. So if you don't, just pull your toothpick a little bit. Okay. So let's do the other one. Poke it through at the bottom. And then again. Make sure there's more toothpick at the bottom. There. Okay. So we have the two. Now you're going to take your scissors and we're going to cut those little feathery, I don't know what these would be called, these little slits that are in the feathers. And the closer you cut them to each other, the better your feather is going to look. Okay. So I'll start up here. So I'm doing my slits fairly close. So I'm going to do the whole side, and then I'm going to do the other side. Okay, do the other one. Put those aside, bring back your tin foil ball, and this is the painting part. So if you have yellow or gold paint, this is what you want to use because that's the color of the snitch. Now my example one I used the gold paint, so for this one I'll use yellow. And we can compare the two, how's that? Pour out a little paint. Get your paintbrush and you're just going to paint the whole thing yellow. And you will get paint on your hands, <laughs> but it's no big deal. The kind of paint I have is um, acrylic paint, but you can use any kind. Any kind of paintbrush will do too.
Okay, looks good. Wipe off my fingers. So I don't want to get yellow paint on my wings. So you would wait a little while for this part of your project to dry. And I'm not going to wait because I want to show you how to put the wings on. So we use the toothpicks because they have that pointy end and it's sharp enough that we can poke it right into the ball. So I'm going to do that right now. And you can like position the wings however you want. Um, I'll do this one a little bit sideways. Find another spot, it's not going through. Woo! Hey, wing. I'm afraid I'm going to get my wings all yellow. Here we go. There. This one doesn't want to stay. Probably the tin foil is too thick right there. Let's try another spot. There. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got yellow on my wings. So there's my snitch. I'll show you the example one. Two. There it is. So have fun with your Harry Potter Golden Snitch craft. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will see you in the next video.